Hello and welcome back. So today we are making a brain slug from the game Among Us. The brain slug looks a bit like this. Well, it looks exactly like this. And you can wear the brain slug on your head, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to wear this because it's going to be out of shot most of the most of the time. So we start with a pair of gloves. Simple enough. The first step is to turn the gloves inside out. So now once you've got your, your gloves all turned inside out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shorten the fingers. So the way you do that is we're gonna mark off an equal spacing on the fingers. Actually, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do it a little differently this time. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the um, fingers vary in length a little bit, just a little bit. All right, and just so you know, if you're interested in picking up a kit, if you don't know how to get, if you don't know an easy way to find gloves or, uh, or that sort of thing, you can go to my website, gardenering.com, and I'm selling these kits. If you can see, I marked little red dots on the fingers. You won't be able to see them when we're done, so that's fine. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shorten the fingers of each of each glove, or I'm gonna shorten each of the fingers down to the mark um, and that's going to give us the little uh, the little tentacly bits down at the bottom. Start with an anchor stitch. If you're interested in finding more out about uh, out more about the stitches, you can go to go to my channel, and I will I am going to make a stitch guide video, so you'll know how to so people will know how to do all the stitches that I normally use. All right, now these gloves are ready for a brain slug. So you probably have noticed that this, uh, you'll probably notice if you've, if you've watched some of my other uh, videos that this is just a modified glove to puss kit, the glove to puss uh, that we're making just with shortened fingers. All right, so just like with the glove to puss, the next step is marking the lines for the shape of the body. On this one, we use a slightly smaller body shape. Um, no, not that way, it goes this way. We use a slightly bo smaller body shape because the, um, because the creature we're making is much smaller. So, and don't worry about the thumbs, we're gonna cut those off in a minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mark out where we're gonna sew. You start at the top of the thumb. You sew up. Curve over for the top of the body. Back down the other side. Now these aren't supposed to be exact stitches. That these You're not supposed to put a stitch on every dot. It's just, uh, it's just the way it turned out. So um, this just shows you where to, where to sew. Oh, also you leave a gap in the top. Okay, so you sew up to there, but you leave that spot open because that's how we're gonna stuff the gloves. Ta-da! All sewn up right up to here, perfect. You stuff each of the fingers. Now, we're gonna stuff the brain slug as much as you can. Okay, so that looks pretty well stuffed. All the, all the, ten, all the tentacles are bigger, are, are good size, I mean. That's great. So after you stuff the glove to puss, you're gonna sew the, you're gonna sew the gap shut the gap we use to stuff the the gloved the brain slug. So now the next step is we cut off this area up here. 
kind of close to the stitches, but not too close, at least a quarter of an inch away, I think. All right, um, and now the flip. That is a great brain slug. I am super impressed. Wow, that is really cool. All right, so now we need to cut the eye. That's a little small, but it's going pretty well. So I'm cutting out two circles, one large and one small. The small circle is the pupil and the large the large circle is the sclera. I'm going to try to say the word sclera as many times as possible on my channel. Sclera, sclera, sclera. All right. Here it is all complete. I, put, I just shoved a little wire into the tentacle to make it um, a little better, a little more poseable. Now, we're going to make this so you can wear it on your head. So what I did was I took a piece of copper wire kind of molded it to my head. I'm also going to curl the edges, the ends, so they're not pokey on my head. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, okay, so that's going to go underneath. And then we're just going to stitch it on. Just swirl some stitches around it. Okay, let's see if I can. It's a little shorter. I think I made the tentacle a little too long. There we go. Our, let's see if we can put it in this one too. Uh, this is our brain slug. It's pretty cute. I think it turned out really well. And it's a very easy modification to the standard glove to puss um, formula. And if you want to buy a kit, uh, you can buy a glove to puss kit at my, on my website, gardenering.com. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and it contains everything you need to make a brain slug or to make a glove to puss. All right, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for viewing. Okay, so what I do is I really just stitch around it. I just make, I just do some, I just do a whip stitch around the, around the body, around the, around the wire and into the body. And if you found any value in this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.